morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. It is early morning so this is just me like talking straight out of getting up. So don't mind if my voice sounds a little hoarse. I'm just doing some quick makeup before work. And I wanted to share with you guys my newer makeup routine because I really haven't been doing anything on my eyes. I've just kind of been doing some face makeup and like that's it. So I wanted to share it with you guys because I think it actually makes me look more awake than anything. So first I'm doing, well, before I came on, I actually put on my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I like to put on a little bit of primer first and then I did an under eye corrector. And then this is my Merit Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick in Ochre. I don't know what they put in this, but it is, it blends out like butter. It is the perfect shade for me. I'm almost scared to get a tan this summer because I know I'm gonna have to buy it buy a different um, color of this. I'm wearing ochre right now, but it matches so perfectly with me. And then I blend it out with like a little, this is a little Bare Minerals um, brush. This is definitely for mineral powder, but I still use it for this because I've just been using like my hands instead of using my hands and then brushes instead of using a beauty blender. I definitely need to wash my makeup brushes though. And then a little bit of Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick. I just have the mini, honestly. I don't think you need to buy a full-size bronzer stick because I couldn't go through this in a year if I wanted to. It took me like three years to get through my last one. But yeah, it's just like a cozy, rainy day outside. Just getting ready before work. I feel like putting on a little bit of makeup makes me feel human. <laughs> while working from home. I've been working from home for, I guess, three years now since COVID started. I love it because I like being at home. I'm definitely a homebody. Um, it probably has contributed to a little bit of my anxiety about going out and being around people, but oh well, who cares? <laughs> I get so much done at home while I'm working from home that it's just a no-brainer. I've been going between two different blushes. I have the Rare Beauty Encourage blush, which is just like a I guess a muted pinky kind of purple. And then this is almost the same color. This is the Merit Beauty Flush Balm in Beverly Hills, which is super similar in color. I think I'm gonna go with this because it's a lot sheer than, it's a lot more sheer than the Rare Beauty one. Oh, I think I did actually put on a little highlighter before I talk to you guys. This is the Merit Beauty, can you tell I like Merit? <laughs> Day Glow Highlighting Balm and Bounce. They did send me, I think I'm on their like PR list because they do send me stuff every now and then um, in exchange for like reviews on Sephora for their new products. So I'm like not mad about it because all I have to do is post a little review with my thoughts. They don't say like you have to post a good review. They just say post a review. So I'm very thankful for that. But I'm just chilling this morning with my little latte and my beautiful like Crusette mug that I found at... Um, Home goods, I think. This is like one of my favorite mugs. It's so cute and it just feels sturdy. And then I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline concealer. This is the Fit Me concealer in the shade Fair. This stuff has been around for like 20 years and I love it. I've used it for probably close to 15 years or maybe not 15, close to 10 years. And I'm just blending it out with my fingers. I feel, I feel like this look just makes me feel awake and look awake without being heavy or anything, so I've been loving it. And then with my NYX Banana Powder, I'll just go in and set the under eyes. And my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And then I'm gonna go in and brush my eyebrows and put on this ColourPop Brow Gel in Dark Brown. It's got like a little bit of a shade to it. So I feel like it just makes my brows look a little more filled in. And then the last step kind of to melt it all together is my Morphe Setting Spray. And that's the final look. I don't do anything, no mascara, no eyeliner, nothing. I started this because I did have like a sty coming in and I think it's actually going away. It was on my eyelid on my right eye and it had been there for months, okay? And I had not been wearing makeup like at all to try and get it to go away, but it just would not go away because I would still kind of wear makeup on the weekends with some eyeliner. So I feel like it's finally starting to go away with me doing this. So I'm very happy about that, but this is the final look. Just super, super simple, very low key. I think I'm actually gonna do a little bit of blush just cause looking at it in the mirror, I feel like I could use a bit. My Milani Berry Amore powder, baked powder blush. So that's it for the makeup. 
all done. This weekend we will be doing some fun things. It's Ryan's birthday weekend, so we do plan on doing like a Ryan's best day thing um, and doing all of his favorite things basically. So we'll be doing that on Saturday, but no other real plans for the weekend. We'll just kind of see where it takes us. Um, I am finishing Throne of Glass probably tonight. I have like 50 pages left. I have to say that was like the hardest book to get into. I just wasn't feeling it, especially for the first like 200 pages. I just didn't really care what was going on. I didn't have any like attachment to the characters. I didn't really like it. Now I think I like it a little better. It's getting, you know, intense. There's like some sort of mystery going on in the background that we have to like solve. Not we, that the main character is solving. So it's getting more interesting. It was really hard for me to get into it, I have to say. I'm probably only gonna read like three books in the month of April, which in March I read six. So it's a little different, but I just, I was in such a slump. I didn't want to start Throne of Glass. I didn't really feel like I was into it. I was so caught up on finishing Akatar that, yeah, I didn't really wanna read that, so. But I'm worrying myself, once I finish Throne of Glass, I can read Iron Flame, which is the second book in the uh, Pyrian series. So very excited to read that one. But that's it for now, and I will talk to you guys later. We just picked up Kai from his grooming appointment and we went to brunch for Ryan's birthday and then we went to the Galleria to go shopping. I have a little haul for you guys. I'll show you Ryan's stuff first and then I'll show you my stuff probably tomorrow because we do have to rush to get ready for dinner. So let's see what he got from Zara. And a Zara trip was a part of his birthday gift from me. So we picked up three of the same polos. I swear this is our formula for Zara. If we find something we like, we'll buy it in every single color for him or for me. So we found this polo that's super cute. It's just got the V. There's no buttons or anything. And it's this nice, like, I don't know what to call it, like a rib t-shirt material. It feels really good and breathable. So we got gray. We got tan. Here's the price. And we got black, which he does not own, like a black, plain black polo. So that was perfect. And then this is so cute. I think this is adorable. One, literally just a plain white t-shirt, but it's very good quality. And two, oh my gosh, I think this is so cute. This button down, it's like an army green. I think this is so cute and have it like open with his white t-shirt underneath in the summer with like some khaki shorts or something. I think it's going to be adorable. It kind of is remind giving me like safari vibes now that I'm looking at it at home, but it was, it's so cute. Okay. I have the vision and it's going to be adorable. So I have laid out the rest of my mall haul for you guys. So I'm going to go through that for you real quick. I do want to start with, however, I went to TJ Maxx slash Marshalls and I got a few things. I really needed to restock on some shower stuff and some hand soaps. So that is really what I went for. So I did end up getting my favorite brand, Joyco's Moisture Recovery Conditioner. I actually got two of these ones in the shower already because we were literally out. But it's $9.99 at what is this? TJ Maxx. But it's actually, I think like 15 or 18 for the small one at Ulta and like 35 for the big one. So I only found the small one. So I just got two of those. And then I also found, this is new, or at least I haven't seen it before, the same line moisture recovery, but this is a treatment balm, which it's actually just a hair mask. So I thought that was really cool. This was $10.99 and this was actually at Marshall's. I am so lucky that my Marshall's Home Goods combo store is right next to a TJ Maxx. So if I can't find something at one store, I can usually find it at the next. And then I just picked up some extra loofahs because I like to have these on hand, $5.99 for a five pack. And then I picked up this Egyptian cotton hand soap for $4.99. I don't know. I've just kind of not really been too picky about hand soap lately. And I thought this was a really pretty packaging to have in like the guest bathroom. And of course I saw, everybody's been wearing these for like over a year, but I finally found one in purple. So I did pick that up for $6.99. I just thought it was cute. And my current headband that I use when I'm washing my face is like kind of losing its grip and it's too loose now. So I wanted to try something new. And while I was there, I noticed they had a huge clearance on clothes. So I did get this oversized 
denim jacket. I think it's so cute. I love that it's a zip up and it has these big pockets. I actually already wore this last night. It's from Blank NYC and I got it in a large because I really wanted it to be that oversized feeling. Apparently it retails for $128 and it was at Marshall's for $39.99 and I got it for $32. I still think it's a really good deal. I think this is so cute. I, the way I wore it yesterday, it was adorable. So very happy about finding that. And now we're back to the mall haul. So I did stop by uh, White Barn slash Bath and Body Works on my way out to pick up a few candles because they were $13.95 last weekend. So I picked up two of Mahogany Coconut. I actually have one downstairs already that I'm already burning. And then I picked up one Mahogany Teakwood. I just love to have these on hand. These just like make my home smell good. I like to have something besides just gourmands. And I was missing these two for my collection. So I picked them up. And then I stopped by Aerie and they were having a deal on their shorts. And they were two for 60, which they're originally, I believe, $60 a piece. Originally $59.95 a piece. So I think that's a pretty good deal. I picked up these, the flirty short, and I picked it up in green and black. So these ones actually have like two tiers. They look like skorts, honestly, because this like flows out really well. But they have two tiers on them, and I thought that was a little bit longer than their single tier shorts. But these are super cute. They're like really flirty and adorable. And I think for summer, I'm going to be living in these because it gets too hot here. And I just really hope that I can um, not chafe in these, which I feel like I will because they are pretty dang short. Um, so if you guys have any chafe resistant ideas, let me know. I do have a chafe stick. But it doesn't honestly work that well for me, so I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any chafe uh, hacks to prevent that. But I picked up these two shorts. I think they're so cute. So the back is like this little V, so it's super flattering. And yeah, this is from Airy. And the last store that we went to in the mall was Lululemon. And I picked up three things, and Ryan picked up one. So I did get some tank tops. I have honestly only two workout tank tops in my collection and I've had them for years and years and years and they're just kind of outdated they're really long I don't like the way they fit me so I really wanted to get some new tank tops so I picked up this blue one which I think is just the prettiest color and it's super flattering with this like stretchy side so this is the license to train tight fit tank and I got it in a six I probably could have done an eight too I'm usually an eight in their sports bras but this looked a little bigger and then I got the white tank top too and this is the sculpt cropped tank this is size eight and it was 58 dollars. they're both the same price but this one is like really nice and breathable so i thought this would be really good for summertime when it's super hot outside and it's got like this mesh mesh panel in the back and yeah i could just tell this is going to be really really good and breathable for summer and then in the sales section i found these flare pants which i've been dying for a pair of lululemon flares so this is the Groove SHR Nulu flared pant in the regular length. I could have probably gone with a short length because they are a little long on me, but they were on sale from 118 to 84 and I did already wear them the other day and they're super comfy. So I'm really happy that I found these. I always, if I can find a Lululemon like full length pant on sale, I'm going to get it. So I got those. And then Ryan also found some joggers on sale. These are his favorite for work he loves the lululemon pants for work and this is the abc jogger in the shorter length which just so happened to work out and it's like this gray color that i think is really nice goes with pretty much everything and it was on sale for 89 i believe it's like 120 or something full price so still pretty good and i'm just over here in my pjs <laughs> even though it's like midday friday but I did a Pilates workout this morning, did a little bit of work and finally came up to shower and shave and did like a really good, nice shower. And then I just, I just want to sit in my PJs all day, to be honest with you. So I'm going to put all this, these clothes away. I'm probably going to wash those shorts so I can wear them soon. But yeah, I will talk to you guys later.
guys, it is Wednesday night and I actually just finished dinner, so did Kai. Look at his arms stretched out. But I ordered Taco Bell. I ordered Taco Bell because Ryan is on another work trip. So he's gone the entire week. He left Sunday morning super early and he gets back super late Saturday night. So I've been on my own for a few days already and it's like a tradition that I do that uh, I get Taco Bell whenever he's gone because he does not like Taco Bell at all. Um, and I just can't ever convince him to go get it. So that's like my little treat to myself whenever he's out of town. <laughs> so yeah, I, um, I did a little Peloton um, yoga conditioning workout, which is where you use like weights. It's actually, I kind of liked it. I find yoga is really nice for me to feel like I'm stretching more. So I do that. I try to do yoga like once or twice a week, but I did two days straight of Peloton cycling classes. So I really needed to stretch. So today I took it easy and I ordered the like cravings box because they have nacho fries back and I will love nacho fries till the day that I die. Okay. <laughs> so I got the chicken chalupa supreme and the cantina crispy chicken taco i think is what it's called it's new that was really good i liked that so much and then i saved the beefy five layer layer burrito for tomorrow and i had my nacho fries so good so good and a diet zaxa papa so and now i'm just sitting down watching um k dramas i've been watching queen of tears it's ryan and i's latest um k drama that we've been binge watching and just chilling. I really haven't done anything this week so far except read uh, and listen to audiobooks. I just finished um, Love on the Brain and I really liked it. It was really cute. I gave it five stars on Goodreads because I think it was funny, it was sexy, it was good banter, it was really cute, and I liked the intelligent aspects of it where She's a neuroscientist, he's an engineer, they're working for NASA at the Space Center in Houston, which is where I am. So I thought that was really cool. I liked it a lot, okay? Um, and I'm also reading Iron Flame. Oh my gosh, I just finished part one of Iron Flame. I don't know how many parts there are, but I'm halfway through, so I think there's only two parts to Iron Flame. She probably could have made it two books, but it's fine. I'm like 330 pages in or something. It's so good i get the hype so yeah i've just kind of been alternating between my hobbies while ryan's gone i've been watching k-dramas reading and then i did start um playing disney dreamlight valley again the other night so that was fun I took a bath last night I'm just trying to fill the time so that i don't miss him too much <laughs> but yeah i think i'm gonna finish this episode actually i only have like 30 minutes left and then i think i'm gonna self-tan tonight but yeah I will talk to you guys later.